And well, not long ago, Boris Johnson could be relied upon to make gaffes so great they'd make the Duke of Edinburgh blush. Well, now the Brexit champion is the UK's foreign secretary and here in Australia to talk free trade and security. In a Today Show exclusive, I put his diplomatic skills to the test, asking him all about Donald Trump, the ashes, and just when will he be the next British Prime Minister? When are you going to be uh, British Prime Minister? I just uh, that, need that to happen. Uh, that, that, uh, <laughs> thankfully, we have a wonderful Prime Minister. <laughs> and, uh... I personally want to see you as the Prime Minister. Well, How long do I have to wait then for you to be British Prime Minister? <laughs> Look, I don't want to seem as though I'm, <laughs> you know, dead batting this question, but it is not. It is. Uh, it is not going to happen. We're very lucky to have a fantastic Prime Minister in the form of and we're going to get on and deliver. That is what people want. They want us to de deliver a good, clean, great Brexit that works for us, works for our friends and partners on the, uh, on the continent, works for Australia. Mm. How's it going to work for Australia? It's going to work well for Australia. The massive Australian investments in London, mm. uh, the big bilateral trade between the UK and Australia, uh, which to some extent relies on the concept of UK access mm. to uh, the single market, that will be unimpeded. And I think that the reason for that, the big reason to be confident about that, is just that it's so overwhelmingly in, in the interests of our friends and partners on the other side of the channel. It will give us the chance to do new free trade deals, particularly with Australia. You're so, open for business, you're here to do deals. We are. Australia is in the process of considering, uh, you know, which countries' uh, frigates mm. to, to buy. And, uh, you know, uh, I'm, you know, I'm not a travelling salesman for frigates, but uh, we have some superb uh, naval vessels. So, if it looks so like a sales job, it is a sales <laughs> job. <laughs> <laughs> but it will be, we'll do you a great deal. Yeah. <laughs> well, you've got to get out there and do it. Um, and, and look, I wonder if there's also going to be some relaxation in the visas for Australia. Yeah, this game. is a, something that uh, I, 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 Can long, you I long to see. I can't give you any extravagant promises mm -hmm. now about how we're going to achieve it, but I want to see a regime that is fair and friendly and accessible and helps get Australians through. One of the biggest challenges for uh, the UK at the moment, London in general, is terror. Um, it, it may very well be that people are concerned about going back to London. What would you say? I would say don't be concerned about that. Look at the statistics. Uh, London is an exceptionally safe city. A crime has come down mm. in London and I hope people will come there and and enjoy it. I'm not going to deny that uh, the whole world, and by the way, including the Pacific region, now faces a, a pretty nasty uh, threat, and we will defeat that. But it does not represent an existential threat to our way of life, and we've got to keep it in proportion. Australia got its border controls right, do you think? It's not for me to comment on. Uh, oh, on come how, on, well, Boris. you know, I, 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 I'm not. Uh, What's how happened Australia? to you? What's <laughs> happened to you? You used to always say what was on your mind. I, I'm just trying to think what I was. I'm, I'm the I'm being <laughs> The reason, the reason, the reason. I'm, I'm not dodging the question. I just, I, I just don't understand. know the answer. Um, Donald Trump. You okay working with him? You've had some of colourful course. things to say about him in of the past. Of course, Carl. I think a lot of Australians think he's a loose unit. A loose unit, uh, like a like a fridge. What's, 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 what's yeah, there's like something, you know, running free in the top paddock, um, as they say in Australia. A brumby, <laughs> a wild it's brumby, a brumby. A wild it's brumby. a brumby running what free in the top paddock. What do you think? Is he loose? Oh, I don't know. We, what you what you need when the brumbies? You need the men from Snowy River. Yes, you do. <laughs> to round up the brumbies. One final question. I know you've got to wrap up and you've got to go. The ashes start very soon. Yeah. Your guys are on strike or something, but I don't want to... They're on strike. Uh, this is obviously playing into your hands. Yeah, no, I don't want to get involved. No, I, again, as I say that, I'm conscious I'm saying, that I'm intruding. I'm intruding into private grief. I don't, I have no... It's not for me... Real it, Boris, please come it, in, a, in the room. It, it is not <laughs> for me. It is not for me to intrude into the private grief of the, uh, <laughs> the Australian cricket world. Uh, uh, but I'm sure that when it happens, it will be a great, great series. Nice <laughs> to see you. <laughs> That is a great interview. It's a great chat. At the very mm. least, he's gone home with a new term. He has. Loose unit. Yes. <laughs> and he'll get to use well, it. I quite like him. Couldn't Probably help but like him. him. Yeah. Mm.